This video shows how to set up a Microsoft Teams Graph Spoke in a ServiceNow instance. Before we begin, we must activate the Microsoft Teams Graph Spoke by installing it. First, we need to register our application in the Microsoft Azure portal. To do this, we'll go to the Azure portal and navigate to the App Registration page. The Owned Application tab lists applications owned by the logged in user. We click New Registration and provide a name and account type. Our type is Single Tenant. We add a redirect URL for the ServiceNow instance we want to authorize and then click Register we've created and registered the Teams Graph app application. Now we click Add a Certificate or Secret. Select New Azure Secret and provide a name. Then we specify its expiry duration and click Add. We've created the client secret. We'll need the client secret value later, so we copy and save it because it won't be displayed again. We want to enable our application to be able to create meetings and add members to channels in the user's personal scope. So, we must set up Create Meeting and Add Member to Channel Actions. The spoke is configured to use the application permissions for the calendar management and webhook management actions, and the delegated permissions for all other actions. Let's add the API permissions needed to perform these actions. Let's go to the Microsoft Teams Graph Spoke page on the ServiceNow product documentation site to find the relevant API permissions for these actions. The permissions are listed in the Spoke Actions section. There are two permission types, Application and Delegated. The Create Meeting action uses the Microsoft Teams Graph Client Credential Connection alias that is configured to use the application permissions. We copy the permission and go back to the Azure portal We'll click Add a Permission and select Microsoft Graph. Then we choose Application Permissions and look for the Calendar Read Write Permission. We select it and click Add Permissions. The permission is added. Now let's go back to the doc page to find the API permission needed for adding a member to a channel. This action uses the Microsoft Teams Spoke Connection alias that is configured to use the delegated permissions. We'll again copy the permission and repeat the earlier steps to add it to our application. This time, we choose Delegated Permissions. We've added permissions for both actions. For both permissions, admin consent is required. We provide that by clicking Grant Admin Consent for ServiceNow. The Azure portal configuration is complete. Now we're ready to configure the two connection aliases that will be used by our application to perform the two actions. We'll need Client ID, Tenant ID, and client credentials to do that. We go to Flow Designer, click Connections, and search for Microsoft Teams connection aliases. The Create Meeting action will utilize the Microsoft Teams Graph Client Credentials connection alias. Adding a member to channel action will use the Microsoft Teams Spoke connection alias. Let's first configure the Microsoft Teams Graph Client Credentials alias. We enter the token URL containing the tenant ID we copied from the Azure portal.
we enter the client ID and client secret we created on the portal. Then we click Configure and Get OAuth Token. We've configured the Microsoft Teams Graph Client Credentials alias. Next, we'll configure the Teams Spoke Connection alias. We enter the authorization URL, which also contains the tenant ID we copied from the Azure portal. Next, we input the token URL and token revocation URL. Then, we add the client ID, client secret, and the redirect URL for our instance. Finally, we click Configure and Get OAuth Token. To finish configuring the Microsoft Teams spoke alias, we also need a user with required subscription to access Microsoft Teams. So, we select a user with the relevant permissions. Microsoft Teams spoke alias is configured, and the setup of Microsoft Teams Graph spoke is complete. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.